Hey everybody, Karen here. Welcome back to Unpinned Creative. Let's do some more work in this beast of a journal. <laughs> this is my DFEM Marimba journal if you haven't, um, if you're only just joining us. And I did DFEM Marimba back in December. It is a um, challenge, I guess, that Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louisa at Louisa Heinzel Junk Journal Art put together. And it was heaps of fun to do, but I didn't complete all the pages, so some of them are only half complete, and I'm now going back through and finishing off the ones that need it. So, let's see where we're up to. We have done day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and day six. And we're now up to day seven, which was the bear page. So the prompts for this page were handwritten memory and loaded tag. So I'll grab that out and let's see how we're going to finish this off. Alrighty, so if you go to my DFAM Remember playlist and day seven, you'll see how I created the bits that I've done on this page. So we have a paper clip down here which just holds the journaling card in place and then we have a loaded tag with lots and lots and lots of tags within tags. <laughs> so um, yep you can check that out if you are interested in how I made this. We're going to put this aside for now because we don't need to do anything else. I'm not going to change anything about that, even though I could decorate it a bit more. Um, I'm not going to today. Today we're going to work on this background, which I have left very, very plain. And I had an idea um, of what I'd like to do. So I'd like to actually do something similar to what I did on the cover of the journal and create a tree here and just a painted background. So I'm going to create the tree using string. Um, this is just plain old, I think it's cotton even, um, string. And I'm going to use that to make a tree. So let's do that first. All I'm going to use is um, I'm going to use wood glue because that's what I have, but plain old PVA will work just as well if you want to try this technique. And I need some scissors. So I'm just going to pop a line of wood glue down. Spread it out a wee bit. And then to make the trunk, all I'm going to do is lay lengths of string in that glue. Easy peasy, nothing too strenuous. So I'm just going to start with a couple of straight pieces. Pushed up close to each other. Try not to throw your scissors around. And then once, as we add more in, we can start um, moving them around, making them not so straight, creating some bumps and things like that. But we want them quite tight together. And now they, the tree can be a bit more bumpy rather than straight. If you're using wood glue, don't put too much down at a time because it does dry fairly quickly. So 
So I'm just going to keep putting down um, lengths of string until the trunk is as thick as I want it to be. Alrighty, and now I'm going to start creating a branch coming off. So I'll just pop some glue down where I think I want that branch to go. Alrighty, and we're going to let that dry and then we can start painting. If you want to, you can add little extra knots and things like that on the, on the tree trunk just by using the twine, uh, string, sorry. Usually I use twine, but today I'm using string. Okay, that will do. I will leave that to dry and I'll be back to start some painting. Alright, I am going to go ahead and paint this now. It is dry. Um, one thing that's really important is that you do dry the glue really well before you paint it. Otherwise, um, you might end up with a sticky tree that never goes unsticky. So that is a really important point to remember. Okay, I'm going to start with the trunk and I just have a couple of different browns here. This is burnt sienna and this is red oxide. I just grabbed what I had and then a really pale kind of um, creamy brown colour. I'm going to start with the darkest. So similar to how I painted the tree on the cover but just much a much faster um, less detailed version of that so I'm just going to cover the string in paint basically pretty easy peasy not too difficult if you are not someone who has painted before or thinks that painting um, is something that you could do, I really urge you to give it a go using paint in your junk journals or on mixed media pages because um, I'm not a painter and I definitely wouldn't call myself an artist or um, anything like that, but um, you can still create some really awesome stuff with really easy techniques that any anyone genuinely can do. So I'm just making sure that I get into all the little crevices. I'm not too worried about the edges at the moment because um, where I'm going on the page because I'll that will all be covered up later.
pretty sure I started with the wrong color. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I started with the red oxide instead of the burnt sienna. Silly me. But it doesn't matter. We'll make it work. now which is technically the one I should have started with and maybe I did start with that and then I swapped over <laughs> silly me and this one I'm just going to paint over the top but not getting not being worried about covering the whole trunk just brushing the color on over the top I didn't worry about washing my brush in between. of that paint off my brush as I can just by wiping it on the page not by wetting it and I'm going to bring in this much much lighter color and I only need a tiny bit of this and I'm just going to get some on the end of my brush and dab it off and then I'm just going to lightly brush over the top. And that is literally all we need for a tree trunk. Now I'm going to work on the background. So to start with, I'm going to mix some of this creamy color with that brown that I um, painted second. Just whatever is left over on the palette. The palette, which is an ice cream lid. <laughs> And I'm just going to dab that all over the bottom here. I'm going to try really hard not to get it onto this journaling card. I'm just going to go up the side of that tree. Okay, now I'm going to be adding these two beautiful bears to the background. This one is a spectacled bear. He's really cute. They come from South America and he's going to be poking out from behind the tree. This one is amazing. Look at his fluffy ears. This is a sloth bear. They come from East India, I believe. 
and um, so two different parts of the worlds but that's okay with me and he's going to be going there so I just want to bring that background up a little bit more where that bear is going to be standing it's going to be all end up all green anyway but probably This is just how I'm starting. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take some blue paint. This is just cheap blue student's acrylic. Nothing fancy. And some yellow paint. Same thing, just cheap student's paint and I'm going to mix those together to make a kind of dark green colour and that's going all over the background and I'm painting just by dabbing So rather than using strokes of the brush, I'm just dabbing it. Like so. And then I'm just slowly going to bring in more yellow to lighten up the green. And go over that. So down here on the ground I'm going to bring green in but not as um, much coverage of it. Bring in some more yellow. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of white into that. Just like so. Okay, now I'm going to bring in a little bit of the brown again. And I'm just going to pop a tiny bit on the end of my brush. just to make some tree trunks heading off into the background. Like so. That's all you need. Like that. And then, take that off my brush. A wee bit more white and yellow. And that's just a very basic painted forest background on my page which is perfect for what I wanted so now to put the bear on I'm going to cut a straight edge so this was part of a bear that I got out of a book and it was a glossy book so I've covered it in clear gesso um, but I'm going to use him so don't discard 
images that are not full images because you can usually find a way to use them use them so I'm going to have him here I'm going to cut off a bit more coming out from behind the tree like that so I'll glue him down So I've put green on him. Green and brown paint. <laughs> there we go. So it looks like he's coming out of the trees and then this dude, the sloth bear, I want him to go up there. So I need him to go behind that one. Ideally, I would have waited for the paint to dry, but <laughs> I want to get this video finished. That is our super quick background page. So that's going to dry and I will take a photo so you can see what it will look like. That goes back on there. And then you take that out, open up the journaling card and you've got these two beautiful bears popping out from behind the trees. Right, super quick and easy. Junk journal page for my Defemma Ember album. So I will take a photo and show you what the finished, dried, completed item looks like. I'll just trim these. Um, maybe, maybe I'll trim those. Maybe I'll just leave them. And I might end up going around the outline of the bears with my black water soluble pencil once the paint is all dry. So um, thank you so much for joining me again today, and I will be back in the next one. See you then.